What's going on everyone, Minicam Man here, back with another video on the channel, hope you're all doing well today, and I hope you're all ready for this first fixture, the second leg against Atletico Madrid in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We have a 3-0 aggregate, so we should be getting through to the next round as long as we don't get absolutely destroyed. I'm playing a few second team players here, obviously with the likes of Afif, Alexandropoulos, Jolis, uh, even Dimi, I haven't played Dimi in a while. Um... And obviously keeping the the back three the same as normal, just just for a bit of a uh, safety. But um, let's get right into this first match here. All right, the second leg here in the Champions League quarter final at home at Carra Road. Three 0 aggregate. We have the home fans behind us. We do expect to get through with this advantage, um, and that's obviously we get destroyed as I did say beforehand. I do not think we'll get destroyed because they were pretty poor last time out. Obviously, they got a penalty early on, and after that, we just destroyed them. So, let's try to do that again. There's a foul, yes. But luckily, it, it, I don't think it's going to be a card. But they can score from here, we know. So, um, let me just... It's really far out, but I'm going to put a man on the line. Blimenek. That's exactly what I mean. I tried to put a man on the line. Obviously, I can't, can't see where the line is. Um, but Afi's making a forward run. What a ball from him. I think it's Berger. There's a man through on goal. Surely, Jolis, don't mess it up. He's messed it up. Of course he has. It's always Jolis in those positions. Um, oh, we're just going to have a look at the uh, the other shot they had from the free kick. Oh, he saved it. He saved it. What an absolute madman. Kobol saved it. Come on. Finally saved the free, free kick. At least seen a thief, surely. It's 1 0. Come on, what a start. After their free kick up the other end, we missed the first shot. But this time, Adley to a thief in so much space. We've made it 1 0, 4 0 on aggregate. And a great start to this match. Six minutes in. Lovely stuff. Wow. I wasn't expecting um, to score this early on, honestly, against a Fleco uh, Madrid team who, well, they're in the Champions League quarter final. They should be better than this. Uh, you can't really blame Oblak. There's just. A load of my players making runs forward. There's so many players to pass it to, and their defence just isn't on it at all. Um, and that's why it's 1 0 to us. And a thief with the goal, come on. Oh, I'm going to have to bring Big Andy out to him. No! Oh, yes! No, it's a goal. That's so annoying. Um, Jackson got the ball, and then. Uh, he, he took a. Well, it, the, the way he got the ball, he took a really bad touch, and they got it back instantly. I couldn't do anything there. Because I, I pressed the button to pass it and he just didn't have it. That's, that's frustrating. And then Kobel obviously, obviously saved it. And there's a man on the rebound. Maxi Aaron should be there, honestly. But he's not, obviously. And that's 1-1. One, one. Bit annoyed, but never mind. No. Oh, it's bad defending again. What's the man in the middle? Good save, Kobel. They're, they're playing a lot better. I need to defend better than what I've been doing. Because it could easily be 2-1 to them. So awkward with corners. Because when you clear it, it usually goes to them at the same time. It's 2-1. There we go. That's what I was talking about. Um, they've got two goals here. The centre looked very promising. <laughs> this is what they should have been doing in the last match. I feel they've like let it, left it too late. Because they still need two more goals. And I feel like we can score. But we've just been bad defending. They're, they're much better going forward passing it. And... Getting the shots off. Koba can't save that. Nearly did get a hand on it, but. Big Andy on the line. Gets it out. I don't know if Koba would have saved it, but that's why I put man on the line. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not good. I thought we were going to do well after we went 1-0 up. Good save, Koba. Get it out. Keep it. All right, it's half time. Okay. Um, well, we went 1-0 up and it was looking good until they started ha putting a load of pressure on. They scored two goals, so we need to be careful. They're only two behind now. Um, but we should still be all right, as long as we concentrate and hopefully get another goal at the start of the next half. Lovely ball over to Jolis, though. Surely to Berger. Yes, come on. Another early goal in this second half. Just like the last half. It's Berger this time. Jolis to Berger. Lovely ball over to Jolis in the first place, actually. And um, just kind of waiting for the right pass. I didn't want to 
do it too early because I'm just waiting for Berger to get in the right position. And then Jolis crosses it across goal. Um, obviously, Oblak shouldn't save that really. I mean, the defence just isn't there. They need to be quicker on the ball and, well, that right back should have gone to Jolis in the first place. But Berger's there for a tap in. It's 5 2 on aggregate. Come on. Adley with the shot. Oh, not quite. Edge of the box with a finesse shot. Al Black saves it. Obviously, Adley's only got 80 long shots still. Um, which is probably why I shouldn't shoot from there with him. But it's another chance. Oh, come on. What is Koble doing? Don't go out to the ball. I, I wasn't even holding him to go out the ball. And John Felix just ball rolled round him and scored. An easy tap in. It's not my fault. I didn't want Koble to come out. Um, I was so frustrated, <laughs> actually. I mean, watch this. I had a man on him, so I didn't want Koble to come out. It's, it's near post. If he comes out, there's an empty net. And he's just mi he's missed the ball. Good bit of skill, but still, it's annoying. Jolis, please, Jolis. Jolis scores! He's so inconsistent, but this time he shot it. It looked like it was at the keeper. It's got in. Um... Maybe just too much power on it. And it's 3-3 here. <laughs> we're back three with we're, we're three ahead on aggregate again. Um, they, they just keep putting pressure on. But as soon as they get the goal, we get another one. So it's like, just we're just keeping it at bay, the map bay right now. But um, Joel's with a nice run. The right back again um, for them is just completely messed that up. That's the second time we've, we've got a goal from the right back being right out of position. Um, and it kind of was at the keeper, but just too much power on it. 3-3. Three, three. Come on. I'm just going to put Martins on instead of Adley to keep the stamina good for Adley. Oh, I meant to pass it to a uh, blooming Jollis, but it just didn't press it hard enough, the, the button. But uh, a thief's on his own here. Oh, caught up to me. Slide in. Oh, what a tackle. Cross it. Surely. Woos, what a goal. We've stolen it off him. And just like that, 4-3 to us. We're actually winning the match somehow. I feel like Atletico Madrid should be uh, at least drawing against us. Well, they've been much better with the forward play, in my opinion. But um, I guess we make the forward runs. And obviously that tackle was absolutely insane by Berg getting us a goal, basically. And it's 4-3. We're four ahead on aggregate again. Just like the start of the match. And Martins with a headed goal. So that sub's proved very good. But it's been a thrilling match. 4-3. What match? But... Obviously, if it was just a single match instead of a two-legger, it would be much more exciting. Well, I saw a man running through. Give that to a thief. Lovely, lovely touch. I think it's Rodriguez to a thief. He's just going to shoot. And he's missed the target. A brilliant chance, but we've finally missed. Um, I think we've actually been quite clin clinical this match, so I'm not complaining. Should be that. There we go. We are through to the semi-finals of the Champions League after a 4-3 victory here at home in addition to obviously the away win 3-0 to make it was it 7-3 in aggregate after all that so pretty good stuff um, didn't defend too well that match but it's alright because we had the extra three goals um, it didn't matter too much but um, goals everywhere from Martins I don't know if Adley scored but Afif scored Jollis scored Berger scored so very good stuff going forwards and um Hopefully, we could take this momentum and beat Ar Arsenal, who I think are the third team we have in this video. Right, so looking at this, um, Paris Saint-Germain are through, Inter Milan are through, and Manchester United are also through. All right, next up here, we have got to play Burnley, who are rock bottom of the league. Um, 20th place with 18 points, so we really need to win this match. I mean, they've only won four all season, it said, so... Let's get right into this one. Okay, we are here at Turf Moor for the second match of the video against Burnley, who are last place in the league. So we aim to comfortably beat them, considering we are at the top of the league, up the other end. And then again, I'm thinking uh, back to when Arsenal played Everton in real life. Obviously, Everton beat them. Um, and that was basically the opposite uh, of what you'd expect. But anyway, yep, we're five points clear here. And we should win this, so we could go eight points clear. Burnley in the relegation zone, six points behind the team in 17th. So, 
Let's um, see if we can beat them. We should be able to beat them quite easily. Caduce. Taking a good touch. Just shoot Caduce. Oh. Yeah, probably wasn't the best place to shoot. But I feel like if I took another couple of touches, they would have closed me down and tackled me. Um, with that right back, maybe. But good save from the keeper. Near post shot. Good save from the keeper again. This time near post. I had a lot of power on it, so I thought it could go in. But the keeper read it. Uh, fortunately for him. And it's a good save. And pass it back to Caduce here. Wait for Vega to make a run. And he has down the left-hand side of the pitch. Going to shoot with Vega. Surely Martins. Oh, he can't get it in. He's onside. Oh, the angle was poor. poor. Surely. There we go. I think the keeper dived the wrong way. Is that, that's weird. Um, but we finally got a goal. After hitting the post with Martins, the, the angle was tiny. But we passed it across goal to Caduce. And he has finished it. Finally 1-0 up. We definitely deserve to, to have the goal. We've had like six to seven shots early on here. But um, yeah, just passed it, passed it along. And the keeper dives to the floor. That's probably why I thought he dived the wrong way. Um, couldn't save that one after all the brilliant saves he's made. But um, we definitely deserve to be in the lead. And that's very good stuff from us. So let's keep it going. Going to give it to Vega. He's just going to run forwards. Maybe another goal. Oh, he's missed the target. I t he took an extra touch before he shot When I well, after I pressed B. I thought he was going to shoot um, there. But then he took another touch. Um... Which is quite annoying. It should be 2-0. I don't know how he's missed the target. To Adley. Who's just going to run himself. Adley with the shot. And it's 2-0 now. Adley with the goal. Is that his first shot of the match? It might well be. But that's, that just shows you what Adley can do that um, Vega can't. And that's why he's a striker, obviously. 2-0. Definitely deserved. This but this Burnley team just been poor um, in all areas of the pitch. They give me the ball a lot when they go forwards. They can't really get out of their half, to be quite honest. Um, they only had one bit of play going forwards, um, which I tackled quite easily. So that's why they're bottom of the league, clearly. But we're 2-0 up here. Um, I think it's been 30 minutes, so let's keep it going. He's going to take it around his man. Adley smash it. It's 3-0. Adley with the forward run again. No one is just closing us down. This is exact. I was just saying this a second ago. This is exactly why Burnley are the bottom of the league. Um, they're not closing us down and they just let Adley run through. It's not even like a good bit of skill from Adley. He's literally just running towards them. There's, they've got like no CDM to stop him. And that number two centre-back has just let him go past. And we've scored again quite easily. Um, Adley with a quick brace. Um, I still think it's 30 minutes in now. <laughs> but 3-0, yeah. Um, 30 minutes in. Just going to watch Adley's run again. He's, he's gone over the top. The right-back should be doing better there. They're just playing him on, everyone. Adley's just going to shoot. Oh my goodness, what a strike. It was kind of a half volley because he let the ball bounce after he controlled it. But I hit it too hard, unfortunately. Gone over the bar. Martins is through. They're just not coming out after me. It's 4-0. Martins with the goal now. He hit the post earlier, but this time the angle is lovely for him. And he gets it. They're just, yeah, they're just really bad. I could see what they're going to get relegated for sure. I don't know how they're only six points behind, like, 17th, though. There must be a lot of rubbish teams. Although I've played a lot of teams this season towards the bottom who've been pretty decent. So, I don't know. This this is just this is just abysmal from, from Burnley, though. They should be doing way better at home than this. They just haven't created anything, and they've just let us score four already in the first half. And there we go. Half-time. I think Burnley were trying to... Um, Play it a bit more forward towards the end of that half there. Uh, obviously changing their tactics to play more attacking after they're 4-0 down. But it's just not good enough for them. We have scored four goals. We could have more, honestly. Had a couple of shots that we just missed and hit the post as well. So I think 4-0 is fair, but it could easily be more. Buendia might... Sh well, the shooting hasn't been great of recent. I have realised... I know he gets pressured sometimes, but he's not really getting pressured there at, at all. And he's completely messed the shot up. So maybe just had a good start to the season. Maybe it was luck. I don't know. But hopefully he picks it up again. Here come Burnley. Come on, get it out, please. Yeah, well, they finally had the shot. And they're playing a bit better at the start of this half. Uh, that's their first really good bit of play. And they just, I just couldn't get the ball. I mean, I ended up fouling once. Koble jumps and saves it with his legs. Um, he shouldn't score from there anyway, though, so it's good. 
Good block. Brilliant block. Good save as well. I don't. I think they would have scored if I didn't get the block in there. Brilliant, brilliant block from... I don't know who it was. Probably one of the centre-backs. I don't think that was going in either, but... We'll let Coble save it. They're doing a lot better, though, this half. Sorry, but this is ridiculous. Are you seeing how they're playing now compared to the last half? It's ridiculous. That, that, that bit of play was like they're... They're blooming Barcelona. Like, they're passing it so quickly, doing dribbling to get away from my tackles. And I just... I just can't... I can't defend that. Like, this is so different to how they play in the first half. It's just... And it's 4-1 now. Um, I'm actually going to sub some players off uh, to get ready for Arsenal. But that's ridiculous how they've just scored that. It's a ridiculous bit of play. But it is 4-1 here. And they, they, they have been better this half. But it's just annoying that I couldn't tackle them there to get the ball out. I put Bally Mumba um, right mid though. Just to make sure Bundy has enough stamp for Arsenal. As soon as a man running through on goal, he, I think he's off. I think I saw the linesman's flag. If he's not off, it's a goal. Is he offside? No, he's not. It's a goal. Lovely bit of play. Brilliant ball over to Caduce. Um, I don't know who passed it to him, but that's absolutely insane. And I thought I saw the linesman flag go up after I, I, um, while I was passing it. And then I, I was going to stop, but that's why you don't stop. Um, he's just on, I think. And, well, that's our first chance of the half, really, isn't it? So, um... Burnley's still pretty poor in defence. Clearly, they're just better going forwards. But brilliant, brilliant goal from Caduce. And he's got a brace as well. Running forwards now. Bit of attacking threat. Good save from Coble though. Brilliant save. And they should have scored that because I just didn't I didn't defend well at all there. But I guess Kanezovic has put him off a bit. So the shot isn't the greatest. Well, we've got it out. And this time the call has gone to Adley. We know what Ali could do after he gets the ball from their corners. He could just run forwards and probably score another one if he gets the shot off correctly. Adley, there's another goal. I think that's an Adley hat trick. Lovely stuff. It's been a little while, I think, since he's got a hat trick, so it's nice to see. But 6 1, um, even though Burnley been better this half, we've still scored more goals than them this half. Um, we've got two, they've got one. So we're just more clinical and obviously better at making the forward runs because we we're, were countering. That's what it is. Um, that's what both goals have been this half. And it's just lovely stuff. Adley hat-trick, 6-1. A lot of leeway now. I'm right, going to put Rodriguez at cam and Afifa left mid for the rest of the match. Okay, they're, yeah, they've stopped playing like how they were at the start of the half now. They're trying to... Well, I mean, they just, look, look, they just pass off the pitch. Six minutes added on. Blimey neck. It's a lot. I guess it is 6-1, but... Good interception. Good ball to Rodriguez. Could be 7 here. It is! Rodriguez making an impact. He's been on for, like, 5-10 to 10 minutes. He's got a goal in extra time. It's now 7-1, even though you can't see it in the top left-hand corner. It's disappeared. But that is the scoreline. And, well, we've just... We, since I think since they've scored, have been a lot better as well. Um, they've had a couple of shots, obviously, afterwards, but... It's not the same after they scored. I don't know what. I don't know why they get a goal and they start to play worse again. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but we are just destroying them again in this half now um, to make it seven-one. And that's full time seven-one decimation of Burnley, top of the league versus bottom of the league. And well, the um, the seven goals reflects the fact that we're top and they're bottom. So um, Adley with a hat trick. I think Caduce got a brace as well. Rodriguez gets one when coming on and can't even remember who else scored but it's just brilliant stuff from the lads and let's see how that affects the table see if Man United drop any more points or not okay so Man United keeping up with us um, only five points ahead still but there's it's getting less and less matches for Man United to catch up um, obviously we have to play them but six matches left um, and we have a few not so good teams obviously we have Arsenal and also Man United but the rest of the teams aren't the best I forgot to mention, I tried to sell Liam Gibbs, but um, obviously, as you can see here, his um, his terms couldn't be reached on his contract, so that's unfortunate. I just don't use him, so I thought I'd just sell him. Okay, well, we know how good Arsenal can be. I remember last time we played them, 
Um, I think we beat them, but they were so good with the skills. We had to defend so well. Um, so we we really need to try and beat them again um, away from home at the Emirates. Okay, um, a massive match at the towards the end of the season here against Arsenal in the Premier League. They are sixth um, place right now. We are in first, obviously. Five points clear, but if we win this, that gives us a really good chance of winning the league. Because after this, I mean, we have Man United, and I think the rest the rest of the teams aren't as as good. Um, so if we win this, that hopefully will mean we'll win the title. But I won't speak too soon because I know sometimes. These mid-table teams can absolutely destroy us, but um, we've just got to hope we can win here uh, at the Emirates. So let's get it right going. Come on, you yellows. Run, run at him. Go on, Martins. Run past them all. Run past the right back. He's got through Martins already. Martins, he's made it 1-0. And that's just what we needed. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And I always try and run at him. Um, and it's worked. Um... It just he got past them so easily. I don't know what they're doing, um, but yeah, Martin's with the goal. Just run, yeah, runs past everyone. Doesn't even pass it to anyone. Just kind of gets it, runs from the halfway line, <laughs> and he scored. I feel like Martin's is usually the player to do that from the start as well. Adley's not that kind of player, even though he can do that as well. But Martin's with the goal here, one nil. And if you want to see the sliders, if you don't believe me. That that was a cheating goal. I'll show you the sliders without cutting the video. 32 goals and 33 for Martins. Let's just pause it, shall we? And I'll show you the sliders. Um, because I feel like some of you don't believe that this is legit. Um, where am I going? Match? No, no, where am I going? Settings. No, that's that's not settings. But I'm not cutting still. Because if I cut, that will, that will dissuade you. Um, what is it? Game settings. And it should be... Wait, don't put the training center on. Here it is. You use a gameplay customization. Oh, look at that. It's all at 50. Oh, look at this. It's all at 50. What a surprise. Um, I don't even know why I'm trying to... I don't need to prove anything to anyone. I'm, I'm just... This, this team's just too good. It's just the team um, with the sharpness is amazing. But it's 1-0. Oh, he's missed the target. I... Had a man right on him, so I was surprised he actually got the shot off there. I thought he was going to not shoot there and just kind of try and dribble around me, but Jackson obviously pressured him, and um, Awesome Hen misses the target, so good for us. Good bit of defence from Jackson. It's a man through, watch out. Power shot, good save. He shouldn't score from there, really. He had a, yeah, I had one centre back trying to defend against two players, because I just. The, the, the other centre-backs were out of position. Good save. It is near post and a power shot. So it was quite difficult, it looked, for Cobalt to save that. Man on the right. Yeah, McCallum should be there. Good save from Cobalt. McCallum should be there. I'm really... Uh, where is he going? Like, there's three uh, There's like three other players that could defend there. And McCallum's gone after him. That's not your man. You need to, you need to mark this right mid. Vieira. He, he just hasn't. Like, come on, man. Well, I saw Vega on his own. Brilliant run from Vega. Take a good touch. He's got past his man. Maybe another goal here. Oh, good save. Very close matchup between us and Arsenal here. Ramsdale with a brilliant save. Also, Koble's made some brilliant saves as well. Um, but Vega needs to hit that to the right-hand side of the net, which is where I'm aiming. He's kind of hit it out of the keeper. We're going to try and get forward one more time here. Martins. Seen Vega. Maybe another goal here. Vega. Yes, come on. Just before half time, we made it 2-0 with the last kick of the half. Vega, he's had one chance earlier. He hit it at the keeper, but this time he drinks his tea as he celebrates his goal. Oh, it's lovely stuff. Had two goals ahead now. That's what we needed because Arsenal have had a few really decent chances. We need all the goals we can get against the top six team. And that's just that's, that's much better strike from Vega. Much better finish. And, oh, it's made it 2-0, and it'll be half-time right after this. I thought I'd run forward just one more time, because there's enough time. And, luckily, we've got the goal, and that is half-time, 2-0. Brilliant two goals. Um, obviously, one really early on, and one late on, which is kind of odd. No goals in between. It's been, there's literally, like, a 40-minute break between the goals, which is um, interesting. But, good stuff from my team. Oh, and Man United to play Liverpool. Come on, Liverpool. Make Man United drop more points. 
Good save, Copel. Brilliant save. That's absolutely insane. I thought they were going to definitely score there. I just couldn't, couldn't get the ball out, away from them. Every time I thought I was going to get the ball, they just passed it again. I was like, ah. Well, it's a, it's a good shot. And it's a brilliant save from Koble. So let's keep it 2-0. He's been absolutely insane this match. Come on, Koble. That's a brilliant block. Get it out. Get it out. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Good save, Gobel. Oh, my gosh. Gobel's been absolutely amazing this match. He's been insane. He's made so many good saves. And it's still 2-0. Come on. Good save again from Gobel. <laughs> Come on, Gobel. He's made so many saves. Come on. We need to get it out. I hate having these corners to defend against. Come on, you yellows. Boy, this through. Come on. Well, first proper counter of the match of oh, this half. Boy, dear. It's 3 nil. Come on. After all the saves of Koble, we've been rewarded. One counter through. And it's 3 nil. We don't deserve to be 3 nil ahead. It could easily be a draw. Or even, we could even be losing. But we're winning 3 nil. Um, our shots have just been better. And Boy, dear. Come on. After his, a few rubbish shots in the last few matches from Buendia. He's finally got one on target. That's not out of the keeper. Brilliant stuff. 3-0, Aaron Ramsdale. You shouldn't save that. But it's just a lovely bit of link-up play between whoever passed it. I think, it, was it Caduce who passed it to Buendia, maybe? Lovely stuff. Surely. Oh, we smashed it in. And Lee's got the ball. Uh, I think I was a bit lucky. It doesn't usually happen. But we're definitely winning this now. I don't know how we're falling ahead. But we're going to get the three points with eight minutes left. Adley with the goal. It's just, I tried to head it with one of my players. It just went over him. And then Adley seems to have got it with his feet. And he just smashed it top bins. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. They messed it up. And, well, I missed it as well. And Adley's just on his own. That doesn't usually happen from the corners. There's usually someone there to tackle me. But he kind of takes a touch, hits it. And then Aaron Ramsdale can't get it. They're d just bad defending, honestly, from them. 4-0. Come on. Come on. Blow the whistle. It's not it's not over. Yes, clean sheet against Arsenal. Koble, what a performance. He's he saved all of the shots. He saved so many shots. I need to look at the stats to have, see how many saves he made. But it's absolutely insane. I know a lot of the shots were kind of at him, but he made some brilliant saves that weren't at him. Um a clean sheet against Arsenal. I wasn't expecting that. And four goals. We definitely didn't deserve to win 4-0. That like, could have easily been a draw or a loss, in my opinion. After the, the start of the second half, they were relentless going forwards. Um, but we just held on. Didn't even concede. So that's absolutely amazing from Koble. Look, they had 13 shots. We had seven. This is what I mean. Like, ridiculous. How has Koble only got an eight rating after that performance? He made so many saves and he got clean sheet. That's actually silly. He's made, he made nine saves and he only got an 8.0 rating. And he got a clean sheet. How, tell me how you get the blimmin' rated up then. You can't do much more. Nine saves and he's got an 8 rating. That's not even in the green. Oh, what? That's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. I don't understand this game sometimes. I don't understand it. And Liverpool beat Man United. We're 8 points clear. With five matches left. It looks like we might retain our title, but there's still work to be done, obviously, so let's not get too carried away, right, but that's a big result. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. Um, we did win every match today. Um, Atletico Madrid played a lot better against me um, than in the first leg. Obviously, that was the first match we played, um, but we still managed to beat them 4-3, and was it 7 through an aggregate in the end? So, um, that's quite comfortable comfortably through to the next round uh so semi semi-finals of the the champions league which is really good and then obviously we destroyed burnley which was expected and then we basically just destroyed arsenal even though they there's so many more shots on us but Koble nine saves he's definitely the man of the match for that one absolutely insane performance um might have to title this video something to do with Koble because that was brilliant that was ridiculous um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. As you can see, we are now eight points clear at the top of the table. Come on. Um, but um, if you did enjoy today's content, please smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, and hit that no notification bell to be notified of when I upload as well. And I hope you guys all have a brilliant day. And I will catch you guys in the next video.
This will be Unique Man here signing off and peace.